so in this question we are having nodal analysis <coughs> and as we all know for nodal analysis always the source should be current source but here we are having two voltage source one is 20 volt voltage source between node 2 and 3 and there is a 10 volt voltage source between 5 ohm resistor as well as the ground potential now we could have drawn a node here between 5 and 10 and named that as the fourth node but there is no point in doing that because already because of this 10 volt we are having that node to have a voltage of 10 volt plus 10 volt because this voltage source is between this node this node and the 0 volt so the voltage here will be automatically 10 volt now we are not going to take that into consideration we are not going to write that we will take that as we write the equation next as we have already discussed we have to mark the current direction so I am assuming that here it will be down here it will be in this direction here again I am going to draw it down here again I am going to draw it down here let me draw it in this direction I have taken direction arbitrarily now as you can see between node 2 and 3 you are not having any direction because there is no resistance here it's a voltage source because of this voltage source we cannot say v2 is having plus 20 and v3 is having some other volt all we can say is v2 minus v3 is going to be equal to 20 volt and that is going to be our first equation this node in between which we are having a voltage source that node together we will call it as a super node and that super node we will mark it by encircling the whole thing inside a circle dotted circle so this big circle that we see here is the node and first we will write the equation for that super node so KCL for super node so KCL for super node so same we will follow this one is incoming current so v1 minus v2 divided by 2 since it is incoming it is all positive this one is outgoing so minus of v2 minus 0 divided by 1 similarly here also the current is moving out so it is minus of now take care here it is v3 minus 10 so v3 minus 10 volt divided by 5 then we are having again outgoing so minus of v3 minus 0 because of ground divided by 2 is equal to 0 now to take out the denominator values I will multiply with multiply with 5 and 2 so when we are multiplying it with 5 and 2 this one will become 5 v1 minus 5 v2 minus 5 into 2 is 10 so minus 10 v2 minus this one 5 into 2 divided by 5 5 and 5 will cancel so minus 2 v3 plus 20 minus so here 2 and 2 will get cancelled so minus 5 v3 is equal to 0 which we will get after rearranging now already we have written the first equation for this particular node here we have written v2 minus v3 is equal to 20 volt so for v2 and v3 we already have two equations now for v1 again we will have to write an equation so i will say kcl at node 1 so kcl at node 1 i will get 10 is incoming so plus 10 minus 
v1 minus 0 by 3 this is outgoing again so minus v1 minus v2 by 2 is equal to 0 all the branches are over so now here to get away with the denominator i will multiply multiply with 3 and 2 so i will get 3 to 6 6 so this is going to be 60 minus here when i go to multiply i will get minus 2v1 the other one is going to be plus then here 3 into 2 divided by 2 i will get minus 3v1 plus 3v2 is equal to 0 combining it re rearranging it i will get the equation as thus by solving equation 1 2 and 3 by simultaneous method we can get the answer of v1 as 18.95 v2 as 11.57 and v3 as minus 8.42 now the question is determine the current in 5 ohm resistor the 5 ohm resistor is this the voltage across it is v3 and 10 so current through 5 ohm resistor will be v3 minus 10 divided by 5 which is v3 we have already got minus 8.42 then uh, minus 10 divided by 5 and the answer comes out to be minus 3.6 or 7 amperes so you can write it as the current through 5 ohm resistor is 3.6 amperes or 3.7 amperes